hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new here or if you need an introduction my name is mochi famba i'm a chartered accountant living and working in zimbabwe and on this channel we talk about everything our careers mainly accounting careers we talk about finance we also talk about travel so in this week's video and the next week's video we're going to be talking about finance related things mainly building the house you know this has been the theme for the channel for the past month or so and we're just continuing on that so um first things first number one are you subscribed if you're not subscribed i'm asking you to subscribe we're now on 4.1 um subscribers and i'm so happy that the family is growing so please subscribe to the channel and then number two i wanted to talk about uh last week i put up a video about an update and a, like a timeline and then on my my social media i put up an update on the house and i just want to thank everyone who had kind things to say who had nice things to say i haven't seen any negativity like i'm used to but i just want to thank everyone for the positivity for all the nice comments and everything it means so much to me and i hope what god is doing for me he's going to do for you as well and then um we're going to get into so i did mention last week that we if you had questions about building you could always send them to my email not only email on my social media i did post a q a unfortunately i can't edit these videos so i won't be able to be putting in like little uh precepts or except i don't know what they're called um in this video as it runs but i did put up a, um a q a and i got very good questions from there mainly the questions i would really just put them in four clusters the main one was access to land the second one was um the cost of building up to like and also the time of building like can i build with this much and stuff and then number four was also to talk about building versus buying so in this video i'm going to just brush them up together like in those three clusters in those four clusters but in this video i'm going to address three and then next week in next week's video i'm going to be talking about building versus buying because that is just a different um dynamic and it's going to be a long as video so i wanted to do that as it's as its own standalone video i'm not really a fan of long videos these days so i'm going to start talking about access to land so in last week's video i did mention about um the fact that i had that there were council stands available and the fact that i was told that i was not on the waiting list and i had to pay to be on the waiting list first before i could start paying um for the stand and then that like, i had to pay for it over a couple of months and also how i got that stand so um the first question was around land yakumusha like is it enough to go kwasha buku do you need a lawyer etc i cannot speak to that because i don't know my house is in town it's in an, it's in an urban area so i don't know about land yakumusha but i'm sure if you go on facebook on let's build our rural homes you can ask that question and somebody will be able to give you an answer there's also a, a group for let's build our homes that is just about building houses so you can also get support from there i use that group for motivation for inspiration etc etc then number two someone asked about uh accessing land from estate agents um in the form of land barons etc especially if you're going to be buying your land in harare it's going to be a mess you need to get a lawyer you need to do your background checks you need to just do your due diligence basically when you're going to be buying land from someone else who is not um the city council so what i did for me was i bought land from the city council and this was back in 2015 so i don't know if it applies now so what happens is you apply for land you show interest that you want land and the city council usually has what is called a wait list so you are on a wait list and my understanding was that you pay every month while you're on that wait list you are paying like some silly money maybe ten dollars i don't know um how much it would be so for me when i heard that there were stands available at the city council but i wasn't on the wait list the city council said 
for them to be able to sell you land you had to be on the wait list and the minimum period that somebody had been on the wait list was like a year or something a year two years so i had to pay subscriptions for that one year and two years because this land was available to everyone you know people were not picking it up at the time so i had to pay for the waitlist fees before i then started servicing like buying money paying money for the for the stand which brings me to number two the way the city council sold stands at that point was you pay an initial um lump sum which is like a deposit and then you then have to pay over three years installments over three years monthly installments so this is where i was then saying that like, because it's a government uh, city council is more like local government and everything they're not really like private sector who are like every month where are you just like they do with rates you can accrue and then finish off when you have the money etc but you also like once i had paid the money for the lump sum i was now due to start paying rates etc etc um so basically that's the process i think if you go to the city council they'll tell you about this wait list situation i only heard about it at that time because there were stands i didn't know about it and post by my own stand i never researched about it so that's as much as i can say please go on the facebook group of let's build our homes or like just find a lawyer if you just want to acquire land because I've had a lot of friends who have tried to buy land from dubious, dubious people or buy and build and then all of a sudden it's getting destroyed, etc, etc. So you don't want to do that. So in terms of that part, I think I have, um, I have exhausted it. Then the second thing that I'm going to talk about is the money needed to buy. Uh, the first thing on the money needed to buy is the money needed to build somebody asked me how much were the three rooms how much was the two rooms how much was it to build the entire house so um, houses are different in that why number one my stand is 300, 300 square meters and i don't remember how much space the plan like the actual land covered by the house is um but so that affects the cost of building as well number one number two location um in terms of can you use farm bricks can you not use farm bricks do you need a special foundation don't you need one um oh, number three aesthetics is that the word how you want your house to look you can roof with ibrs you can roof with asbestos i don't know if people still do that um you can roof with like those tiles um the flooring even do you want a tiled floor or do you do you want um like those old flows or do you want those old cement flows or do you want carpets so there's just like even windows there are types of windows <laughs> even the glasses they there are these ones that are look like that look like mirrors then there are those ones that are just like the plane that we used to know back in the day um so all those things build up into the cost so you can never use the cost that i spent on building my house to project yours because there are a lot of things that are involved in building that are not the same necessarily from house to house so if i'm going to be completely honest i do not keep track of the course uh for the first part up until i bought the first round of bricks which i put on my instagram uh, that picture of me with like a lot i think those are that was like eighteen thousand bricks with a lot of bricks that was the fir the first time that i started actually tracking as to how much it was costing me to build the house and if you put in everything um that went into the house the ceiling the tiles um the um, like the doors the windows the glazing um everything including paying the labor the building and everything my cost was plus or minus 25k that is the cost that i spent on that house plus or minus so it could be between between 23 to 26k somewhere there that was the cost that i used which i understand to be actually quite a lot for a house 
in high density because at the end of the day um the ha most houses in the high density don't have like tiling but in the location that i built in people are doing like the most of their houses some houses are not painted sometimes houses don't even have like that um what do they call it skimming they're not they don't do the skimming they just plaster and sometimes don't even paint mine was plastered then skimmed then painted and everything like that so that builds up on the cost so for me that was the cost that i um i did in care i think next week when i do the building versus buying i'll just do a um, stage by stage sort of rough estimate of how much it cost me i think that could maybe help you like when i break it down to say foundation exca excavation foundation uh, up to wall blood roofing how much was it like if i try to get those figures because i was i started keeping track of those so i might have those figures and then i would just give a small rundown maybe it will be useful for someone then the other thing was how long someone who touched me the question that touched me the most somebody said with 250 dollars will i be able to extend a house and my answer to that is um like people were just asking about with this much can i build a house as i said a house is not like most things where if it's a laptop if it's a laptop oh yeah even laptops have like specifications is it core i5 core i whatever draw core blah 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 that builds up to the cost of how much it then costs so when it comes to building a house i think like you can start wherever you are and like if we have 250 dollars and you know that maybe your cost of living is like 100 dollars a month and you're saving your 150 what i would advise is probably don't save your money's money uh try to buy actual materials that you use in building because then when you do that you a guarantee that you're saving and then you're actually seeing also like physically uh the build up of all your materials of all the things that you're, you're buying towards the building and then you do things slowly uh with building uh kumanya hakuzukushika like with building with building you pick it up slowly 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 until you get there sometimes the person is sometimes it stalls and you go for years months but one stage and then so you, like with building it's you take it as it comes so with however much you have especially if you have learned with however much you have start whether it's buying one bag of cement whether it's buying brick brick force whether it's buying dump coats whether it's buying one sheet of ibr sheets whether it's buying i don't know depositing for water whatever it is with building you do it slowly and before you know it <laughs> you will be done and i thank you so much for staying up to this point if you're interested in more content like this hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for content like this and see you in next week's video bye